The LFO adds a little more movement to your sound. Play with the rate, vibrato, tremolo, and timbre controls to get the best sounding results. The output controls, finally, change the overall velocity and sound level, as well as the stereo panorama of your sound. If you like the edits you've made to the sound, click on Apply. When you do this, the Easy Edit page settings revert to zero. But sound changes you made become encoded into the main FM matrix. The effects controls make it easy to change the effects setup without leaving the Easy page. Just activate or deactivate the various effects units by clicking on their buttons. The Amount knob controls the overall effects level of the entire rack. If you click on the effects page, you will find 12 new rack effects. All of these effects can be combined at the same time to produce a variety of professional sounds. Each effect can be easily switched on with the effects selector on the left side of the window. The effects range from classics like chorus and flanger, and bread and butter tools like equalizers and reverb, all the way to a cabinet modeling unit. or the crazy psychedelic and talkwa modules. Choose from 48 effects presets from the template menu. Or easily save your own effects setup to a preset file which you can load and use later. Just type in your preset name, press enter, and click on the save icon. Choose a free user slot to save your effect setup. You might have noticed that the little ARP button in the application control bar is sometimes on and sometimes off when you load a sound. In other words, the on-off state of the arpeggiator is saved into each sound. Of course, you can switch the arpeggiator on or off by clicking on the button. Open the arpeggiator page with the navigator to see how it works. Load the sound Color of Dirt from the Quick Load menu and play a chord. As you can see and hear, the FM8's arpeggiator is much more flexible than its analog predecessors. In fact, the FM8 arpeggiator can also be used as a step sequencer. Click on the ARP button to switch it off and listen to the difference when playing the same chord. You can easily do this the other way around and add the arpeggiator to a static sound. Load Baby Got Beef and play a chord. Now turn the arpeggiator on and play it again. Your chord is rhythmically re-triggered and transformed into a grooving synth line. Again, you can choose from 48 presets sorted into the three categories, arpeggio, sequence, or melody. You can even make your own arpeggiator presets and save them for future use. With the arpeggiator controls, you can easily change the tempo and various other parameters. The pattern editor is the place where you actually create your sequences. It consists of a grid with the columns representing the individual steps. Grab and move the vertical marker to adjust the number of steps. The steps and the on-off parameters can be activated or deactivated by single mouse clicks 
or simply by clicking on the dice icon which generates a random value. You can also reset each row by clicking on the X. Now that we have made changes to a sound, we want to save it with a new name along with some additional attributes. Switch to the Attributes window or press the F3 shortcut on your computer keyboard. Add or remove attributes so that the description better fits the new sound you created. You can also rate each sound individually and color code them. Finally, save your sound by choosing Save, located in the top header. If you are already an FM programming expert or would like to become one, there are a number of usability improvements which makes creative sound design even more fun. Just to point out a few, let's look at the various views of the expert page. Here you can quickly edit your envelopes and even link them together, making it easy to change parameters individually or in groups. You can quickly visualize both the spectrum and waveform of your sound here. And editing individual operators has never been easier. As you edit, the operator is highlighted in the matrix. You can change operator pages either by using FM8's navigation or by clicking directly here in the matrix. Check out how easy it is to load and save matrix presets. This will really accelerate your workflow if you like to create your own FM sounds. Also, the modulation matrix gives you an instant overview and full control over exactly what is being modulated by what. We hope you have enjoyed this brief tour of FM8 and that you have now a better understanding of how it works and what's more, that you appreciate the true potential of this stunning synthesizer. This tour has really only scratched the surface. Many of FM8's features simply can't be explained or even be mentioned in such a short time. Please refer to the manual for a more in-depth explanation of FM8's functionality and feature set. Enjoy the sound of FM8, your Native Instruments team.